Father God, thank you for allowing us to come together this evening from all parts of the world so that we can unite together through the power of love and celebrate the union of spirit. We ask tonight for a special blessing on this service, that the veil between the two worlds can be lifted for a short time, allowing those who have gone on before us to come forward so that we can be reunited through that bridge and power of love. We ask tonight throughout this service that compassion and love shine through so that each person here will feel that power of healing. But most of all, Father God, we ask tonight that this service can be one of reverence and can be one that honours those in the spirit world. We go forward now knowing that everything which is said and done will be done with compassion and with love. Amen. reading I would like to share with you today is called The Potential of Love. Love is the true essence of the spirit and the continuous message of hope that defines spiritualism and spiritual understanding. The power of love can inspire moments of compassion and beautiful memories within our life. Love can enhance the foundation of our dreams and is never forgotten forgotten when shared with others. The continuous existence of the human soul brings new awareness to the importance of love. Life is precious and is strengthened by the ability to accept one another through the brotherhood of man. Some people will touch our life briefly, whilst others will leave behind a lasting legacy of love in our heart. Love is the bridge between the two worlds, and when we are touched by the power of spirit, true harmony can be known. Memories are the treasured moments of yesteryears, but today is also a gift that can be filled with new insight, clarity, and positive expectations. Eternal progress is open to every human soul. Spiritual insight inspires motivation for personal growth that is based on the potential of love. During moments of inspiration, the power of the spirit comes to the fore. This defines our ability to live in peace and to express love and harmony within our daily life. When we embrace the full potential of our spirit, we become the pioneers of our dreams. The ability to embrace love and share it with others will define us and remains the true essence of the spirit. Well, friends, the potential of love, isn't that perhaps one of the greatest gifts that we find within our understanding of spiritualism? The potential of love, not only at this moment in time where we can create those bonds with those in the physical world, but the potential of love that moves us beyond our physical world. It reunites us, it links us, and it joins the two worlds together. When we come into spiritualism, we can come for many reasons. Some people have struggled through bereavement, through that grief. Some people have found challenging situations within their health or their personal circumstances. Some people may even just be drawn to spiritualism, but not recognize why at the time. But what we do find very quickly is that love has so much potential within our understanding because it encourages us to look within to the expression of our spirit, 
and how many of us didn't believe that our spirit was significant or important. And yet once we begin to touch on that power, we recognize that our spirit is all we have. Yes, we live in a physical world. We have physical bodies. And this allows us to experience all the emotions that comes with that. And yet always, ladies and gentlemen, the power of love is the one that defines us. The power of love is the one that defines our most special moments, those treasured times that we share with one another. And love can come in so many forms. It can be that strength. It can be that light in the dark night of the soul. When we reach out to someone else through compassion and through love, we can be their strength. And we come to recognize through the philosophy of spiritualism that we have a responsibility, not to everyone else, but to ourselves. And when we begin to touch that, when we begin to truly feel that passion, then we recognize that the potential of our spirit is in our hands. Of course, we will all go through times in our life then when we are challenged, when we feel doubt, perhaps wanting to give up in everything that we've worked towards. And yet, when we begin to engage with that power that we have within, when we begin to reach out to that invisible power we know as God, and something awakens within us. Spiritualism is held by that awareness, that belief, and that knowing that there is a power much greater than ourselves. And we call that power God an awareness, a strength. And when we look at life round about us, we begin to recognize there is a continuation that moves all of life. We see it through nature. We see how one season merges to the next season. Sometimes it's so significant how it changes where sometimes we can see, look at the plants and we think, well, there's, there's not really much there. And then the buds come, the potential comes, new growth comes. And how many times in our life have we felt that we're in that barren place? We're trapped and we're not sure how to move forward. How many times do we recognize that change is necessary and yet change can be frightening because we don't know the outcome. But when we begin to trust in that power of our spirit, trust in the power, the wisdom of our soul to guide us, then we begin to recognize that we have a potential to move beyond our doubts and to walk towards our dreams. And of course, circumstances within our life can present obstacles. All of us will have faced times where a path was set before us and we were walking swiftly, perhaps even running towards our dreams. And then obstacles came, obstacles that perhaps we didn't expect. And then we began to realize that Perhaps the pathway we thought we should take wasn't the right one for us after all. And that's where love can come because we begin to move on to a new direction, meeting new friends, meeting new acquaintances, embracing new experiences, and perhaps looking back in hindsight, recognizing this was the path I was meant to be on all along. Yet we have to learn in this physical life and we can learn through our emotions. We can learn that if we haven't faced sadness, how can we know the joy of happiness? If we haven't struggled with our physical health, then how can we truly embrace and celebrate being well? And perhaps this is 
what we all have to go through within our life, facing different challenges, facing different experiences, but growing from each of them, growing within our confidence, recognizing that all we have when we go to the spirit world is those memories of love. We can't take anything with us from our physical life, but we can take all of our memories. We can take those moments that we shared, the legacy that we have with another person. And when we look at that, ladies and gentlemen, we then begin to realize there is power in this moment. There is power in what we do, our thoughts, our living reality to reach out through the brotherhood of man. And that is something where all of us have this ability to reach out with peace. But sometimes we have to find that peace within our own heart first. We have to come to that place where we begin to recognize how important balance and harmony are Spiritualism focuses so much on healing because it's what we all need. We need that healing to feel that sense of oneness with our own spirit, with each other, with those in the spirit world, and also with God. And in our moments of healing, which we shared, there is a union. There is a union within that energy, within our intention, within our thoughts to come together, defining that peace and that healing, sending it out through the potential of love. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we see the power within spiritualism. Looking back through the history of our movement, we can also recognize what our pioneers did for us, bringing that insight, bringing that awareness. And as they came forward to teach us, the spirit world showed that no matter what experience we endured in our life, the potential of their love for us could never be broken, even through physical death. Nothing could stop it. And that surely was a lesson in itself of how they cared about us and how we evolved within humanity, recognizing that if our life is eternal, if we have that opportunity beyond this physical world, then the life we live now is so, so important. And it's important because we can form those bonds of friendship. We can walk away from times where we feel that negativity and create opportunities where we come together in union. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is so important. I truly believe that is what has inspired so many people within our movement to remove the fear of physical death. And when that is removed, that awareness, the new insight can come. It doesn't change the pain that we endure when our loved one passes. And perhaps that's something we just have to carry with us because we cared. We loved our people in the spirit world. But nevertheless, when we are then reunited, through that connection, through the healing, we begin to realize that they haven't been lost. They're in a different place. And that energy, we know through our investigation, the energy doesn't die, it only changes its form. So when we begin to see that, we recognize, yes, the physical experience is important, of course, because it forms our character. It shapes our personality. It allows us to live through all the experiences of life. But after that, what is left? It's the spirit, the eternal essence 
that unites us through the God force. And when we embrace that reality, ladies and gentlemen, when we begin to recognize that we are so much more than a physical being, we are a spiritual being, then a new insight can come, a new awareness can come, new incentive, new motivation can be born within us to seek that higher awareness. The beautiful music played earlier spoke of surrendering, surrendering to the power of our spirit, seeing beyond the doubts and the limitations of the physical life. Now, this doesn't mean that we perhaps can do everything that we want to do, but we can be the best that we can be. We can take each experience we have had within this life and look for the positive within it. And there's always a positive. Sometimes we need to readjust the perception of our lens. Sometimes we have to look at the bigger picture and not just the small detail. But when we begin to look at the panoramic view of our life, we recognize that all the experiences we had come together to create a bigger picture. And through our knowledge, through our awareness, we can change everything, ladies and gentlemen. We can't change anything that we have done in the past, anything that we have said in the past. We all have regrets. But what we can do, we can take the awareness and move it forward. What we can do is say, I won't do that again because I want to improve who I am. I want to embrace that power. And that is your gift. Through the philosophy, we recognize it's our responsibility to live the life that we feel will bring us closer to God, that will allow us to express the true essence of our spirit. And ladies and gentlemen, it may be that sometimes we feel we can't do that. Sometimes we feel that we should be what other people want us to be. We can even deny who we truly are because we want to fit in. We want to belong. Yet when we open our heart to those in the spirit world, when we open our heart to the power of God, which is in us, in all of us, then we recognize all we have to be is our self, a unique individual, different from everyone else. But I don't believe that is through chance. It's because we are original. So ladies and gentlemen, if we are original, if we are unique, then we bring our own special quality to this life. We bring a special thread in that tapestry within humanity. And we have that opportunity to weave our love, the potential of our love, that gift to humanity from us. And we may never know how much that has inspired someone else. We may never know how much our compassion our empathy, listening, believing in someone else has inspired them to recognize the potential of love within themselves. But always, ladies and gentlemen, take that opportunity to be of service, allowing your spirit to touch someone else's spirit, knowing that always that divine energy of God weaves its way through all of us. So we will all be connected, regardless of where we live in the world, we will all be connected to one another through that potential of love. So tonight, I would just like to leave you with that thought. Who am I? And who is that light? Who is that power? Who is the essence of my spirit? And as I say, who am I? I mean that collectively, ladies and gentlemen, all of us, 
that individual, beautiful light that reflects the power and divine love of God. I'd like to leave you with those thoughts. Father God, thank you for allowing us to experience this time together. We thank you for the healing which has been created within this room and also the love that we have shared with one another. Please may we ask that the energy which has been created can now reach out to all corners of the world, to all those who are struggling at this time for whatever reason, for all those who are in beds of sickness and for all those who are lost within their own world. Please may they know the love that we have shared tonight. We also ask for the animal kingdom and for Mother Earth, that that love can be sustained and continue. Until we meet again, Father God, we thank you for allowing us to share this beautiful time together. Amen.